Oh, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to today's webinar training. Guys, I wanna first welcome you to today's webinar. We are so, so excited to have you guys here for today's special training. It is not every day that we get to come to you with such amazing material, um, but this is one of our favorite webinar trainings that we get to host here at Maker is Gonna Learn. So we're super excited today to share with you guys the top five secrets to using your die cutting machine for a successful business. This is something we are super passionate about and we're so excited to see you all tuning in here in the live chat. Um, if you guys are brand new here, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you are looking most forward to um, in this training. Let us know if you have any particular goals that you would like to do um, and be able to make money using your die cutting machine. I think it's very important. So I just want to give a shout out to everyone that is tuning in. We are so, so excited to have you guys here with us today for the training. I want to give everyone just a quick minute or two to get plugged in as we get super excited to dive in to today's training. I want you guys to know that I have put a ton of work into what we have prepared today. We've had a lot of people go through this training before and find it super successful. Um, Throughout the webinar today, I want you to go ahead, take a picture of the webinar um, as you go through the program, and then be sure to share with us maybe your notes that you're gonna be taking from today's training, maybe just a picture of the webinar. And I wanna connect on social. So tag me on Instagram, TannerBell1023. You can tag the Makers Gonna Learn account. I'm on both of those very actively. So I wanna hear from you guys on what your goals are. What do you wanna know? What do you need to learn about making money from your die cutting machine? All right, my friends, I see a lot of people here and I wanna make sure time is very um, valuable for you guys that are ready and laser focused for today's training. So let's go ahead and jump right in to today's training. Yes, hello everyone. We are so, so excited. Now, here is what our promise for you today is. By the end of our time together, you are going to see how excited we are to show you how you can turn your die cutting machine into a source of consistent income and unlimited creativity for you. By the end today, you're going to learn the selling part of crafting without going to business school for it how to use your gift to put smiles on people's faces and money in the bank, exactly why you've struggled in the past to sell your crafts and how to avoid it, the simple three lies that have led you down a path of guilt and overwhelm as a crafter. And lastly, you're going to learn the five step easy to follow approach that has been tested by hundreds of crafters and we are so excited that you're here today. Next up, you're going to be so excited because since you're here live with me, which is why you want to stay on till the end, we're going to show you how you can get your hands on this amazing top 10 products to sell and how to price them. This is a bonus just for our friends that are tuning in live for us. So be sure to stay on till the end and make sure you grab this right here. This is an amazing printable um, that you guys can use. It's uh, gonna cost you absolutely zero. Um, so this is just a little fun bonus that we are super excited to provide to you guys today. Next up, if you guys are ready to learn, if you guys are here and you're like, Tanner, I want to give you my full and undivided attention for the next 45 minutes to an hour, here is what we're asking you to do today. First of all, let's go ahead and silence your phone and log off of Facebook. As you guys know, it's super tempting when you're in a training, watching a video and more to get sidetracked. Tonight or today, whenever you're watching, um, you are going to want to make sure that you are plugged in and ready to stay focused. Next up, save your questions for the end of the broadcast. We're gonna have plenty of time for them at the end. 
And lastly, I've already mentioned it, but if you haven't already, take a second, grab a notebook and get ready to take some amazing notes. Sometimes I use my phone and try to top notes, but honestly, my friends, I find it so much better if you have a true pen and paper, all right? Okay, so before we get started, I wanna go ahead and introduce not only myself, but the entire Makers Gonna Learn team, because I know we have some friends here that are brand new. So let's get to know each other real quick. So this right here, my friends, is the Makers Gonna Learn team. Um, from the left, going over to the right, you'll see Becca, who is a craft producer here. She is amazing and honestly, one of our specialists when it comes to turning um, drawings into SVGs. And I've seen her whip out so so many amazing um, cut files very quickly um, just from ideas in her head. She's seriously amazing to take a concept and execute it into a cut file very quickly. Next up, we have Rachel, who is next to her. Um, and Rachel has been with us for uh, almost five years. She's been a craft producer helping us launch Makers Gonna Learn. And I've never seen someone that is able to kern fonts like she has and work to develop some amazing projects. Um, and we kind of deem her our font expert. Next to her, we have Courtney. Um, Courtney is not only my wife, but our creative director. Um, she gets to work with a handful of artists to develop the cut files that we release at Makers Gonna Learn and honestly, so much more. And last but not least, myself, Tanner. Um, I founded Makers Gonna Learn in 2017, um, mainly to serve one mission. Our goal here is to give you guys the inspiration, the education, and the motivation to have fun crafting. But also today, we wanna make sure that you guys can see crafting as a way of income. So you can create an income. Um, so instead of seeing your finances always going out to crafting, we want to kind of, you know, react and say, hey, how can we use crafting as a way to have a purpose and create income for not only myself, but my family? So let's take a look at what may be holding you back from making money with your craft business. Okay. Number one is this right here. And I've already seen some comments about it too competitive. How many of us are here saying, Tanner, there are too many people out there doing what I do, doing what I want to do. I see people already with a die cutting machine trying to sell um, projects with their Cricut or die cutting machine. But honestly, you need to know that there's never too much competition because when you are going to show up as a reliable source and a quality provider, you're going to see that there are so many people that are going to show up and not only support your business, but find so much value in what you're selling. Next up, we have myth number two too expensive. How many of us have been in this boat where you're saying, Tanner, it's just simply too expensive to be able to launch a business. Like I do not have the money to create a big library of supplies. I don't have a big library of stock projects to sell. My friends, it does not take anything you know ahead of time to get an order you chances are every single one of our friends here today watching has plenty of supplies to sell their first project plenty of supplies to get those orders and the best part is today we're going to talk about some ways that you can create a cash flow that is not going to make it expensive at all and this last one is myth number three. And this one, I want you guys in the comments, if you feel like this is um, you, go ahead and let me know how many of us are saying, Tanner, quite frankly, selling my crafts seems too confusing. 
raise your hands in the comments right now if at the end of the day you're leaving the the dream due to the fact that it's too confusing if you're there go ahead leave us a comment because we want to make sure that we know and we see you guys um, because I think this one is the number one reason why people actually never see progress in making sales is that they feel like it's just simply too confusing okay I see a lot of people yep that's me oh yeah this is me Kimberly says exactly friends I'm glad that you guys are here because this is what we want to overcome today and really look at instead of what's the hundred step plan to focusing in on two to three steps and where we can go from here. Allison says a thousand percent me. Well, Allison, we are so excited that you're here. All right, my friends, can you imagine what your life will look like once you do away with these myths to start making money with your crafts? Take a look at Hope. Hope says getting my signs done and added a frame around one of them sold them both within one day of posting. Congratulations, Hope. You can see Sandy's here. She says, thanks to Tanner and Design Make Sell, I sold my first item on my Etsy shop. Sandy, congratulations. As well as Penny here. She says, I had my first sell on Etsy today. That is amazing and definitely deserves a win. And you guys may be here saying, Tanner, I want to have a win. I want you to use me as a testimonial. And if that's you, my friends, I want you to stick around because we are going to be building a great foundation for you guys to be our next testimonial or be, you know, your first um, sell is going to be so motivating and empowering to see that other people value you as well. All right. If you guys are excited, I want you guys to get plugged in. So what I'm going to ask is if you're ready for our first secret, go ahead and drop number one in the comments. The more that you guys engage, the more that you comment means the more free value that is going to be pouring out. All right, so it is going to be a lot of fun. A friend says, haven't set up my Etsy yet. A bit intimidated by it. Exactly, we want to break it down and take it one step at a time. Kim says, not sure if my stuff is good enough. And my friend, the best way that you're able to overcome that is putting yourself out there all right, if you're taking notes today, this is a great thing to, you know, to write down. The best way to prove that your stuff is worth it is to put it out there and just wait for an order. All right, I'm already seeing those number ones coming in. So let's go ahead and dive in to the five secrets. Secret number one, this one right here. If you're taking notes again, top of the page, I love to start this training out with secret number one being stop working for free due to the fact that if you're showing up here today, I know for a fact that you're making amazing projects that you need to start selling within the next month, right? I know for a fact that you have carved out the time you're already in our training but i feel like you need more time to work on the business side right we're not saying take away time from crafting but what i've found is that a lot of people that may be right where you're at today are saying tanner i've already committed myself to working for free i love it this is my passion i am a people pleaser but step one, my friends, is creating that time to get success. All right. So if you are here, if you're writing this down, definitely take some notes. And what I like to say right here in the training is if you want to stop working for free, create boundaries, clearly define who and when you're willing to work for free for. 
all right? For me, it could be a cousin, it could be an immediate relative, it could be whoever you want it to be, my friends. But secret number one has to be stop working for free due to the fact that people are not going to start valuing you until you value yourself, okay? People are not going to start valuing you unless you start valuing yourself. A friend says, ugh, yes, 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 I am such a pleaser and don't want to disappoint people. This is a biggie for me. Thank you for just speaking truth into our lives. My friend, I'm so happy to do so and I find it to be such an honor due to the fact that sometimes we need to hear hard things so that we can level up, right? If you have a goal, if you have an ambition to hit $400 a month in, you know, selling my crafts, $600 a month. Sometimes we have people come on here and say, Tanner, I live in Southern California. I need to make $6,000 a month to replace my income. Whatever that goal is, my friends, you're not going to be able to achieve it without having the time. So this is a simple one that you're able to just cut the fat. So you're able to really focus in on providing value and working for people that are willing to pay, right? Yes, I love it. I love the comments here, my friends. I think you guys are writing it down, taking amazing notes, and it's awesome. So if you guys are ready for secret number two, go ahead and drop a number two in the comments. Yes, we are going to start setting those boundaries and we are going to be rocking it together. My biggest problem is I have friends I've given crafts as gifts and now my friends accept freebies. This is what I recommend. As you transition from working for free to charging, be upfront with your friends and family. Say, hey, I am working to build my very own home-based business. I would love your support. I am starting to charge, but for you, for the first order, I'll be able to give you 40% off, 50% off in exchange for a review. You're clear, you're adamant, and what you're going to see is you'll be shocked at the people you've done freebies for in the past, willingly show up and pay for them as they're going to be valuing your work after, and here's the part people forget about, after you value yourself. You must put the line in the sand, you must say no first before you're able to have other people show up and um, you know be able to pay you, right? I already see a lot of number twos, but I love to try to throw in as much value as possible when I see we're resonating in an area to go a little deeper. All right, be sure to be taking notes as we're so excited that you're here, but let's go ahead and dive in to secret number two. Here's why it's a myth to think that starting your crafting business is complicated or expensive. And at the end of the training, I'm going to show you how you can get your very own step-by-step -step system. But for now, here's clear and evident proof that when you have a system, starting a business is easy. Aaliyah has a great one. Um, this is one comment that when I saw this on a live stream, I was like, this is amazing. Aaliyah got two orders like an hour apart. She about fainted. This is what I love to hear because it lets you guys know that if you set up your system and you follow a step-by-step -step, step system, you're gonna be getting orders as you go about your life. You're gonna be cooking dinner, and if you follow a system, you're going to have people show up and order from you while you're living your life. You could be at church on a Sunday and people are ordering from you. You could be at dinner with your family. You could be in the carpool line um, at school. Wherever you may be, you're gonna start seeing people ordering from you and showing up without you know, practically doing the work. You put the system in place, you followed a step-by-step -step system, 
and you're seeing the work pay off. Becky says, feeling so blessed to have came across your channel and see this. You help take away the fear of what to sell, where, and how much I mean, it was like you were in my head. Thank you so much for sharing this. Guys, in a step-by-step -step system, you're going to see exactly where to sell, what to sell, and how to sell. I love that Becky feels like we're in her head. And the reason why Becky felt that way, and maybe you feel that way too, is because we've worked with hundreds. It's almost a thousand people that have went through our program. And it is so amazing. And this one right here is another one you may be saying, Tanner, I don't want to necessarily sell my crafts, but I know I want to use my skills and my ability to serve. So this one right here is from another friend. Honestly, you guys have really motivated me. I was a freelancer and now I have my own, my font listings and my own shop. I'm really looking forward to you guys. Keep up the great work. That is fantastic. I love that you're able to follow the systems, develop the fonts, develop the cut files and start building a business around, you know, serving others. So it is super, super awesome. Now, this is great because we love being able to show you guys real results. But if you guys are ready for secret number three, it's one that you guys are always asking about, always talking about. So if you're ready for secret number three, go ahead and drop a number three here in the comments. This is so, so good and we are loving it. So go ahead and drop a number three in the comments while I take a nice drink of water. <laughs> okay, love this. Let's go ahead and dive in to secret number three. This one right here is one that we truly, truly believe in. And as you guys know, earlier in the training, one of the myths is people are saying too competitive, too many people in the marketplace. There's not a place for me. This right here, nailing your niche is so important. And what I want you to do if you're writing and taking notes today is I want you to nail down who is your ideal customer, write it down. Who is my ideal customer? We've had people say in, and you can leave a comment and let us know who your ideal customer is. It could be a mom. It could be a um, homeschooling family. It could be farmhouse decor. Whatever that is, you need to nail your niche. All right? If you want to nail your niche, you have to know who you're serving because that's going to help you learn what your specialty is. So this will help you learn what products you're able to sell and so much more. Um, you really want to nail your niche to see um, and really show up for your ideal customer so that they are going to feel like you were in their head um, and creating products that you know are going to fit in their home. For example, if you are focusing on farmhouse decor, right? You're going to want to have trendy farmhouse related shirts. Maybe you have a listing for customized doormats that are farmhouse style. Maybe you have farmhouse frames that are relevant and, you know, going to fit in to a farmhouse decor, right? I love, love, love when I see people chiming in and saying things like, oh my gosh, I want to make sure that I nail my niche and I wanna, you know, spend time developing that because that is step, one of the first steps into making sure you have an amazing business. I love it. Animal lovers. Yes. So many things you could do. You guys could do custom um, shirts for dogs, cats, anything like that. Um, Sally says essential oil users. Yes. That's a huge market. How amazing. 
I love it. Oh, Lacey, you are so sweet. Is it just me or can I listen to Tanner all day? Such a soothing soft voice. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Um, but yes, if you're taking notes, go ahead and write down, you know, who your ideal customer is, what is your specialty and how you are going to show up and beat the, um, the competition. I love Terry. You know, she chimes in and says boutique items and tumblers. So what Terry could do is say, Hey, here is what I'm going to create. And here's the companies I want to partner with. So if you're creating boutique items, you could sell them on Etsy and really create your own online boutique, or you could partner with a local boutique and sell your stuff there. I love it. So I see a lot of comments. I have a lot of ideas. I need to research in a step-by-step -step system that we're going to talk about later in the training. You're going to see that we have specific targeted training for you guys to pick where to start. So if you feel lost, there is going to be an opportunity later on today in the training um, to get help on that. But if you are just taking notes and you're like, I need to work on it, write down who is my ideal customer and what do they need most? Those are two questions that will help you kind of get on the right track. But if you guys are excited to move on to secret number four, go ahead, drop number four in the comments so that we know you're here, you're focused, and you're ready to continue on with the training. Yes, someone like me, homemade unique gifts. Yes, another hack, a little secret tip here is if you're like, oh my gosh, who is my ideal customer? If you mimic yourself or someone close to you as your ideal customer, you're going to know what their pain points are and you're going to be able to relate to them really easily. All right. So many number fours. Let's go ahead and um, dive in to secret number four. Set yourself up with for success with strategy. If you guys are loving today's training, I want to do just a quick little exercise to help you see how you can identify what to sell. So you want to start brainstorming by just jotting down the crafts you like making or would like to learn how to make. I know this time of year, there's so many people that have got brand new crickets and you may be here saying, Tanner, this is brand new to me. I still need to learn the machine. Whether you are a seasoned crafter or you are brand new to crafting, I truly believe that you both can succeed. And I have testimonials to share with you later on that will prove those facts. So what we want you to do here in the chat, on your notes, wherever, jot down what crafts that you like making or would like to learn how. This right here is going to give yourself a starting point, okay? A starting point. Nothing is too big, nothing is too small, or too crazy of an idea, especially not while brainstorming. The brainstorm is going to allow you to identify three to five potential craft areas that you can go into and dive deeper, right? dive deeper. We want you to be able to go deep into all the different areas. And when you um, have these, you know, your brainstorm, you're going to be able to look back at this and kind of flush out those ideas, right? You're going to be able to look through what the pricing is, what the shipping would look like, and really, you know, kind of streamline it. Yes, earrings, handmade sewn items, shirts. I want to make clocks. A friend says t-shirts, onesies, wedding signs, Easter baskets. So this right here, I want to use that example. So t-shirts, onesies, wedding signs, and Easter baskets. What I love is that wedding signs, you could build a thriving side hustle just doing wedding signs. 
for t-shirts and onesies, you could build that. Um, but again, you want to set yourself up to be a little bit different. Um, and Easter baskets, what I want to just point out here is clearly you can only sell Easter baskets, what, a month to a month and a half before Easter. So you want to be very mindful. One thing I love about the wedding signs is, you know, people are going to continually get married and you can have different takes on wedding signs. Um, and you're always going to have people, um, you know, getting married. There's going to be opportunities to show up at wedding events and you'll have a clear busy season versus a slower season. So not too many people get married between December, January ish, but then they start ramping up, you know, for the summer and into the late fall. So you want to be mindful of that. And as you go through each of those, you can make notes. If I'm going to sell t-shirts, how can I set myself apart? Okay, if I'm going to do wedding signs, where can I sell them at? What's the price they're willing to pay? And let me tell you, someone that just got married last year, no one is going to bat an eye at paying $100 to $150 for a custom wedding sign. And that's just amazing because their budget is going to be thousands of dollars and to spend 100 to a little bit more than 100 for a custom wedding sign for their wedding, um, you know, that's a great place to show up, especially for creatives here. So that is awesome. And guys, this is what a brainstorm is for. You want to have real success when you start having strategy. You can take exactly how I took an example from a friend here today with their those four ideas and kind of strategize, you know, who would I sell these to? What would I look for? All of that, right? Take this, come back to this, um, and you know, do a brainstorm and write out how am I selling? Who am I selling to? What's the price? What's the profit? Which is what I want to talk about next. So if you guys are ready, secret number five is one of the biggest that you do not want to miss out on. So if you guys are ready for secret number five, go ahead and drop a number five here in the comments. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, welcome my friend. First webinar with you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are so, so excited. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm seeing the fives roll in. So let's dive into it. This right here is develop a seller's mindset. Develop a seller's mindset. This is so important, my friends, because you need to start looking and thinking of things from your seller's mindset. For example, if you're selling something for $70, let's say a custom frame, you really need to look at and know your margin on what the profit is. You want to think about what the profit is. You want to be thinking about how hard is this product going to take to ship. Okay. For example, with your, um, glitter tumblers, any tumbler out there. A lot of people are saying, I want to make tumblers. I want to sell tumblers. Those are going to take additional hours on the front end. But the best part about a tumbler is they're going to be very affordable to ship. They're lightweight and they're small. Okay. So you want to make sure you're charging effectively, but a frame on the other hand, could take a half hour or a little bit more to build and construct a frame, but the shipping might be a little bit more expensive than shipping a tumbler. So everything's going to have the pro and have the con. And there are going to be areas where you're lost and you're seeking help. Feel totally um, comfortable with asking for help. You need the step-by-step -step system to, because you cannot know the things you don't already know. And a lot of people here are brand new to selling. So if you're brand new to selling, I want to let you guys know you're in the right place. We are here for you. So this right here, secret number five, develop a seller's mindset. Write that down and start saying, how can I look at what I'm doing, you know, from a more business standpoint, 
not just, I love this project, this is what I love making, but how can I, you know, take an extra layer and say, how can I make this most profitable for me? Now guys, as you guys can see, these myths are demolished. Now you know that it can be easy, step-by-step, -step, and pocket-friendly to start selling your crafts and see money coming in <laughs> rather than only going out. Do you see how powerful it is when you stop limiting yourself and start exploring your creative potential to build a successful business? I hope you guys clearly see that. We've went across all the different myths. It's not too competitive because you're going to show up with your niche. It's not too expensive because you do not have to spend a ton to get started. You're going to have everything you need to take it step by step. And myth number three, too confusing. It is not when you follow a step-by-step -step system and when you focus on your next step instead of trying to think 10 steps ahead or you know a thousand steps a hundred steps ahead so this right here deb says i've been a member of design make sell for about two months and it's worth every penny you spend on it i highly recommend this course to anyone that uses a cricket and wants to make money with it so now I want to know, would you like me to help you set up your craft business without any confusion, any overwhelm, or costly mistakes? Okay, would you like me to help you set up your craft business? I see a lot of people here saying, Tanner, I'm new, I need to know, is Etsy the best place to sell? Can I sell on the Facebook marketplace? I'm confused. Do I have to have a big stockpile of projects? You know, all the things, right? I wish we had all the hours to do it, but in an hour training, we cannot go over everything, right? That's where we stand and where we're lost. But here's what we can do, okay? Option number one, you can figure this out on your own and end up frustrated and exhausted, okay? You can see, you can try and figure this out, but you may end up frustrated and exhausted. But there is an option two. Option two, you can follow a tried and tested path to go from stressed to successful, right? there is an amazing option so that we're able to do that. And right here, I hope you choose option two because I would like to join you, um, to ask you guys to join me in design, make, sell. Now we already have a question I wanna answer real quick. What's the difference between Makers Gonna Learn membership and design, make, sell? So as you guys know, selling and designing cut files is nothing to do with the actual functionality of the Cricut. So this right here is a one-time payment course to start designing, making, and selling your very own projects. This teaches you all the things you have asked for. Design Make Sell is not a membership. We do have a payment plan but it is not a membership. It is a one-time tuition payment and you have lifetime access, okay? So Design Make Sell is the only step-by-step -step program for Cricut crafters who want to master designing their own SVGs and selling their one-of-a-kind products successfully in just 20 minutes a day. All right, we ask you guys for 20 minutes a day. All right, so this is what we like. We give you guys all the modules, every video training, the workbooks. There's probably over 60 videos in here um, and it is so much fun. Now on top of the workbooks, on top of the modules, you also get access to a ton of bonuses like our photo course, our private Facebook, and so much more. 
So get ready to learn because right here, you're going to see all the goodness. This right here, you're gonna learn how to stop spending hours hunting for the perfect font, the die cut design, or trying to figure out how to get started with selling those cute onesies or tumblers you've been making for your friends and family, all right? Lauren says, love, love, love designing my own things, especially for customers with Makers Gonna Learn fonts. Of course, yes, Lauren, congratulations, yes. One thing I wanna let you guys know is that you will get lifetime access to this program that is perfect for you, the crafter who wants to level up and start saving and making <laughs> rather than just spending. So you're also gonna learn proven strategies to go from giving away products for free to selling them for profit and to do so without stressing over what steps it takes and how to make it happen. Alicia says, my first craft fair, even my daughters made treats and favors. I sold my shirts and received orders for more. Thank you, Tanner for all the inspiration. That is awesome. Congratulations, Miss Alicia. Guys, would you not like to go to a virtual craft fair or an in-person craft fair when we're able to do so and get access to this? This is so amazing that we have people taking those leaps with us. Now this one right here is for everyone that is brand new. We want you to learn exactly how the pro crafter, you know, is able to get started really quickly. So these are, you know, the pro crafter techniques to become completely confident with your selling your Cricut crafts. Tess says it paid for itself in the first month. I had no prior experience before finding Tanner and the team. To this day, people order things for me who have had a Cricut for a year or two longer than me and just don't know what to do with it. Thank you so much, Tanner and the Makers Gonna Learn team. You have brought out my passion. I love that. And you guys can see that with a systematic, structured, and super comprehensive approach, you don't have to waste time or energy trying to figure it out on your own. April has an amazing testimony, you guys. She ended up quitting her job due to health reasons and started diving in to Design Make Sell. It has been amazing. She started her own store on Shopify and in making subscription boxes. Not to mention, I am actually emailing over 250 people on a weekly basis. Makers Gonna Learn has taught me so much. Who would have thought I would be making a living crafting. That is so amazing. Congratulations, Miss April. Yes, I love it. Congratulations, April. Guys, we are so proud of all of our amazing testimonials. And I really wanna invite you guys to become our next testimonial because we want to see you guys succeed, not for just being on screen, but truly what is happening in all of these testimonials from April, Tess, Alicia, in their own lives. You know, anything like that is so incredible. So the nitty gritty, you guys can click the link down below in the comments or wherever um, to get the nitty gritty. But in the design portion of the course, you're going to learn all about SVGs, how to contour, how to upload, all the licensing you need. You're gonna learn three of the top um, systems, Inkscape, Illustrator, Procreate. You're gonna learn which software is best for you. You're gonna go straight into designing um, three um, different highly awesome projects with basic shapes. Um, you're gonna learn how to turn PNGs into SVGs. There's advanced techniques, it's fantastic. Um, you're going to see that if we were to sell this individually, it would be quite a bit. You're also getting the design um, bonus, which is the workbook. So we have went through and give you guys some great workbooks to organize each lesson to coordinate with the video. All right. You're also in the selling course going to learn all the things about the best products to make and sell, 
how to price your products, um, how to pick your niche, if you want to go for you know more quality um, or go more cheaper route, you know how to brand yourself, where and how to sell, how to set up that Etsy shop, the shameless self promotion, how to feel confident with selling, how to market your products, and how to rock your craft shows. Am I right? How to rock the craft shows as it's super important. Okay. So you can see if we're going to sell these individually quite a bit, um, you're also getting the sell workbook. This one's awesome because I have some great prompts in here to help you guys stay motivated and focused. Um, you're also getting today the font creation bonus. So you guys can see here, you'll learn how to create your own fonts. You'll learn how to create your own patterns. Both of these bonuses are almost $200 value each, which is incredible. Those both could be courses on their own, as well as our photo tips bonus. This is gonna teach you how to start taking your own photos. And the reason this is so important is because without amazing photos, my friends, you'll never be able to sell for your worth um, on the internet. The photo is how you sell. Um, it is so good, especially with the internet. So this guys right here is going to work for you because you're thinking, yeah, sure, it was easy for you or the participants you saw earlier. But here's what I want you to know. We're not special. They're not special. The only difference is that they had access to our step-by-step -step blueprint that gave them a shortcut to creating their own SVGs and selling their own unique products with confidence. The best part today is you can have that exact same blueprint. In addition to the bonuses you saw earlier, you're also getting the Frame Masterclass. And guys, Sally said it, so much stuff, oh my. The Frame Masterclass is a bonus because we wanna make sure that you guys can quickly um, and affordably make frames to start selling. So we're including that completely free. We're also giving you our best kept secrets for high profit. Um, we love that. And you're getting access if you go pro today, if you go pro today, you only have about a week to make your decision. Um, you get our community Facebook group and the workbooks are digital for you guys to choose to print off as needed. So all of this today is right here. So you can see all the bonuses. And you know, as you see here, the actual real world value of the program would be upwards of $2,000. Today, you can have it as low as $115 today. You can do the three payments um, and you would get the $50 off today using the code DMS. That drops your first payment down to 115. Okay, um, all in all, you can have this for one payment of $447. So a lot of people think Design Make Sell would be some type of membership. The fact of the matter is, it's a one-time course. It's a one-time fee, and you get lifetime access. So you follow along these steps, and you're able to rock it. Okay, but you would pay nowhere close to the 2000 Because you're here and part of the community, again, you're gonna to start today for as little as one payment of 175. Use the coupon code, that first payments go drop down to 115, and then all you'll have left is two payments of the 175. Correct. You do not have to pay full price. You're not even having to pay close to regular price. You guys are getting a special price today because you get our exclusive promo code. Do not forget the to use the coupon code DMS for that extra $50 because we want to be as accessible as possible for everyone to start crafting um, for a business and make that consistent income. And that's why we get the payment plans. So there's no other program that we offer that you guys are getting. Um, a payment plan for. This is literally the only one. Um, but if you want to pay in full, you always can do that too and you'll save like an extra 20 bucks. So here we go. 
do you get access to the bonuses if you buy one course at a time? So it breaks it down right here. If you guys want the bonuses, you must go pro. Pro is where it's at. Pro gives you guys the bonuses. Seriously, so many good bonuses, you would regret it later. The biggest thing we've had people email in for is Tanner, I wanna upgrade because I need the photo bonus. Tanner, I need access into the Facebook group because guess what? In the Facebook group, our team is showing up and providing extra value that honestly isn't even laid out here. You know what I'm saying? So this right here is so good. And either way, you're going to still save that $50 which is amazing. So head over to the page right now, punch in your details, grab your spot in Design Make Sell. This closes in the next seven days. So it is awesome. And yes, Pro includes everything, both the design, both the sale course, both workbooks, and all the bonuses that are laid out right here. It is so awesome. So I know a lot of you guys are wanting to go over and grab that, um, but I do want to open it up to Q&A. Let me know if you have any questions or reach out to us via email, hi at makersgonnalearn.com. But again, you're here live with us, so let us know if there's any questions that we can do for you today. Um, we want to make sure to answer as many as possible so that we're able to give you guys all the value. So let us know if you have any specific questions. Yes, this closes next week, correct. And yes, it is awesome. Okay, considering the membership, but wanted to know if the Cricut Joy cut falls are included. Um, we do have a few Cricut Joy cut falls. Okay, now if you guys are considering signing up today, you'll see how easy it is to get your own step-by-step -step blueprint for your successful crafting business. Even if you don't want a business, Design Make Sell will help you because you'll learn how to create your own SVGs, Imagine the money you'll save just spending on your SVGs and the unique designs you'll create. The reason you joined me for this training was that you were tired of giving away your products for free. You were tired of feeling the guilt that comes crawling out of the craft closet. Am I right? You really want to start saving money and making money, but you're worried you'll end up wasting money, right? If that's you, you don't have to worry about all of that because when you design, when you join Design Make Sell, you're getting everything you need to help you be successful and a community that's going to cheer you on. No more guilt, no more loneliness, no overwhelm or confusion. All right. And it's little as a matter of weeks, you're going to have all your products selling in stores and at craft fairs. So again, you're going to be able to add your account details add your um, billing info, grab that. Do not forget to add your promo code. This right here is gonna save you $50 and it's so awesome. And then you'll just want to click yes, agree and submit. So then as soon as you go, you're getting instant access, which is fantastic. We are so excited for you guys to be able to log in and get access to all of that. So yay, what time of day are the courses? So Jill, it is self-paced. You're getting that um, at your own speed. We ask for about 20 minutes a day and the three payments would come out once a month. So you will have one payment today, one payment in 30 days and one payment in 60 days. All right. And yes, you're always able to ask questions via email. Inkscape is a free program, so we give you training on that. There's also Procreate in the program as well as Illustrator. And how often do we reopen? So for Design Make Sell, it's open every couple months, a few times a year. Um, and then Makers Gonna Learn membership is always open. So that's fantastic. 
And then I think we had a few more questions, guys. I apologize. I think our comments got messed up real quick. So sorry. I, we were having comments and I didn't see anyone. So yay. Okay, we have a friend saying I had buyer's remorse already. I bought just design and now I want to get pro. Since you just joined, we can get you pro. So go ahead, grab pro. Email our customer care team, hi at makersgonnalearn.com and we'll refund you for just design, okay? Also, does the pro include the two courses you could purchase separately? Lindsay, yes, of course. That is a huge investment, um, so you do get that. And with the pro, how many in-depth videos do you get? So you're getting both design and the sell course, which is awesome. And you're going to see that there's probably over 60 plus videos. I don't have a correct number on those, um, but I know each course has over 30. So 60 is a very um, you know comprehensive one. And guys, these trainings could be anywhere from 12 minutes to 40 minutes per training. So they're really in depth. They go into detail. You get the workbooks to coordinate with it and it's fantastic. So you can go right here and you're going to get um, the pro. So after you join, after you grab it, make sure you're signed in, go to courses and you'll see this right here. Yes, oh my goodness. Um, do you go at your own pace? Yes, you do, correct. You definitely do go on your own pace. Now this right here is some amazing testimonials we have Dr. Pamela saying design make sell is great. If you're on the fence, say yes. Kat says turning my side hustle into a full-time job at home, launched an online store and a YouTube channel. You guys are inspiring. Love my Cricut maker. Chanel says, I tell you guys, you will not regret purchasing this program. Oh my gosh. I treated the professional course as my own personal class and I love it. Worth every cent. And lastly, Hope says, bought the pro version and love all that it has done to drum up my sales and is driving those new customers to our social channels. I love it. Jen says, any tips for imposter syndrome? I've thought about design make sell for a while, but I have no clue what I would sell or if anyone would be interested. Jen, the best thing about imposter syndrome is you really have to acknowledge it. You wanna say, hey, I am constantly comparing myself to others but that doesn't take away from my worth and how I'm gonna be able to show up and you know make a difference. Because Jen, you have to realize, my friend, that just because you love crafting does not mean that other people are going to love it and they don't have the material you do, the experience and the know-how. So you're looking for people that are different than you to purchase from you, all right? So I love that. Yes, I love it. I love it. Um, all right, let me see what else do we have. Um, do you have any other questions? I know we've had a little bit of tech issue with the comments. I apologize. But you guys may be thinking, I'm going to answer the questions in just a minute. But before that, you know, I want to tackle some thoughts that I know are going through your head right now, okay? So you may be thinking, are my projects really good enough to sell? Why would you, why would someone pay me for my crafts? Or will I be able to keep up? And the answer is yes. You are going to be able to keep up. Yes, your projects are good enough to sell because you think of all the time you have spent crafting in the past um, and that is your experience and that is really how you're going to show up as such an expert. It's really fantastic um, and we're so proud. And yes, my friends, if you're already a member, you can also use the DMS coupon code. So all, anyone can use that coupon code. We're so excited. Yay! But okay, this right here is the coupon code. Again, we'll make sure to answer any questions. Um, you guys can see here, again, you only have less than a week. 
I wanna say thank you so much for staying on with me here. We'll make sure you guys get your bonus, so grab that if you haven't already. But first, go over to the URL and sign up. Do not forget, add the promo code and start crafting um, your journey with savings. So I hope you guys are go join us in Design Make Sell like thousands of others and start truly seeing that possibility of turning that creativity into a profitable, thriving business for your family. I'm so excited about helping you guys and cannot wait to see you in the Facebook group. Speaking of questions, Noelle pops in and says, do you show us the step-by-step -step on how to set up your Etsy shop? Yes, you are going to rock it. Oh my gosh, just one more I love you post. One of my friends told me that Maker's gonna learn. Aw, I feel like we're actual friends. Yes, we are actual friends, yay! Sally says, oh my goodness, I'm in. Looking forward to learning so much. And do you think blogging is an important component? Terry, and on that note, we can go to the main camera if we can, um, Terry, Blogging is awesome. I used to be a blogger for years, right? Um, but when you're wanting to sell um, your products, you wanna get straight to the people that are ready to buy, right? You're not looking for people that just may wanna learn about crafts or read about crafts. You're looking for the people that have the money in their pocket, they're willing to pull it out and pay you right away. So I don't think blogging is a big component if your goal is to sell your crafts direct to a consumer. If you're sitting here saying, Tanner, I wanna sell cut files, I want to you know, do different things like that, then maybe, um, but it's very different. So I know a lot of you guys um, had a lot of fun. I apologize tremendously. We have not had the comments as normal as possible, so it's hard to read the room and make sure um, that we are here, um, but it is so much fun. So do I have to join Makers Gonna Learn? That's a great question. So you do not have to be a member of Makers Gonna Learn to take Design Make Sell. Now what you will notice is that um, Design Make Sell is a great um, indicator to be a part of our community, not only for the craft support, but our cut file and font library. If you're a year member of Makers Gonna Learn, you can use all of those pieces for your own business, which is phenomenal, and you'll really see a lot of success. So yes, is there a suggested number limit for my niche? Should I keep it to three items? So Danielle, you have asked so many amazing questions today. I wanna to say thank you so much. Um, honestly, I say test out your products. As you see what's going to sell, sell more of that. You know what I mean? Get started, if that you can get started with one product, get started with one. I think the most important part is to start. You really wanna start um, to see exactly, you know, what's gonna sell and work for you. Do the design videos show using Adobe Illustrator? Yes, we go over three programs, Procreate, Inkscape, and um, Illustrator. Those are our three that we teach on, and you should not have to worry too much on that. So yay, Design Make Sell and Maker's Gonna Learn, totally different, so, so much fun, and we love it, yes. Um, you, if you're looking to design, you'll be shocked at how much designing is actually go take place in the design software rather than Cricut, as Cricut Design Space, my friends, for designers can be very limiting. So that's a great one. Gail, yes, Tanner, you and Rachel got me to finally make my first project. Yay, I love it. But my friends, I know there's a few of you that are still on the fence and you're thinking, Tanner, I don't know if I should invest this much in myself for Design Make Sell. I get it. I used to be someone that it was so hard to invest in myself. I would go spend money on other people like it was going out of style. But when it came to me, I somehow struggled with it, right? I know you've been there too, whether you overcome that or you're sitting there today. But what I wanna let you guys know is you'll be shocked at how few products you have to sell or projects, whichever way you look at it, to be able to repay your tuition to yourself for Design Make Sell. 
Today, the program, if you do paid in full and the coupon code, the price drops down to $447. So say you're selling projects at $25 for 447 divided by $25, which is a pretty good average, you would have to sell 17 items. Now, 17 is go be an you know, aggressive number, a pretty decent number, but to have the shortcuts, to have the training, to have all of those questions and have the blueprint of the step-by-step -step process laid out for you is truly priceless because we don't want you guys to get stuck spinning your wheels saying, Tanner, I'm not going anywhere when the system is 12 to 17 projects away um, selling to get you the system. So that is so much fun. If you guys have any questions, um, definitely let us know. Um, we are so excited that you guys are joining Design Make Sell. I'm so excited to welcome all of our new members into the program. Um, I just wanna thank you guys so much for your time today. I love these trainings. I love to see you guys um, get fired up for this. If you haven't already, go tag me on Instagram, show me your notes, leave me a comment over there. You can follow my personal Instagram, TannerBell1023. You can follow us on our Makers Gonna Learn Instagram, tag both of us over there so I can see you guys um, and let us know what you guys are doing. We, um, do you teach Silhouette? We do not teach too much on Silhouette at all, um, but the best part is Design Make Sell is not focused on either one. So we're not focused on Cricut or Silhouette. We're focused on the business training. So yay! Um, to de join Design Make Sell, you do not have to be a member of Makers Gonna Learn. So that's a great question. So woohoo, I love it. Yes, so, so fun. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you back here very soon at Makers Gonna Learn. And again, if you have any questions moving forward, simply email hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you back here real soon. Bye now.